Hey everyone, Gary Simon here of course, Cetro.com and welcome to the May update of my website. And basically I was doing these every month earlier in the year, but that got a little bit redundant. So now um, I'm doing it every two months. So this update is going to cover um, all the months, but really it's been two months since I've done this. Oh, but real quick, before we begin, make sure you check out my site, CourseCetro.com, where you're going to find a bunch of courses on modern design and development. A lot are free, and the others you can access for the cost of buying me like a six-pack each month. That's it. Now, also, it probably wouldn't hurt to subscribe here on YouTube, and be sure to make sure the notifications are turned on. All right, let's get back to it. So um, what we have here are just uh, just some quick screenshots that I pasted in from Google Analytics on my website that I own and run Corsetro.com. And so a lot of the videos that you see here on YouTube, you know, they're all pushing traffic to my website. And so the purpose of these updates, by the way, I, you know, a lot of you, I understand, have your own websites. You're interested in getting traffic, of course, if you have a website. And this is just to give you, you know, what I'm doing personally um, to grow my website traffic so that you guys can get ideas if you wish. Okay, so I, right here we have from January, February, March, April, all the way to the current month. We'll also go down and look at this stuff real quickly at the end. Um, but what I want to do now is just discuss a few of the numbers. So this is January, the very first month that I started really paying attention to my website to try to drive traffic up. So this column I want to look at now is just users. And these are just you know the daily visitors that come to my site. So back in January, it was at 15,538. Now, of course, my site was around for about the last half of last year, but I really didn't pay much attention to it. A lot of those users were coming just from YouTube, essentially, from two different uh, channels, from Viv's when he was with Corsetro um, and mine as well. So there was very little Google traffic or anything like that coming here. Um, as you can see, from January to February, uh, there was an increase. I think it's around 8,000 visitors. From February to March, there was an increase of over 10,000. So good growth. Uh, from March to April, again, around a 10,000 user increase. April to May, and this is the current month, and there was a big jump, well over 20,000. Now, if I just move this over real quickly, the next section I wanted to pay attention to is page views. And so page views, we had a lot initially um, compared to the users, and we could see the pages per session was 2.79, which was my highest. So it was at 70,897. Um, as we could see over here, if you look at the pages per session, it, it dips quite a bit from 2.7 or basically 2.8 to 2.4. Still, there was about a 20,000 increase in page views from the first to second month. Uh, the next month increased quite a bit more. So we are on 26,000 increase. Now, again, this pages per session dipped quite a bit more, and I'll discuss that momentarily. And then March, April, we'll see we increased again about 30,000 page views. Um, 1.95, which I think was my worst pages per session. And then April to May, a huge increase, um, almost 100,000 page views. And that's not because I've got like a massive uh, mention somewhere on some other website. It's really, um, we'll see down here how this kind of corresponds to that. But unfortunately, my pages per session did increase, and I did a couple things to increase that. So first, what is pages per session? You may be wondering. Uh, pages per session, let me move this over here, is basically you know a user comes to the site. What is the average amount of pages uh, a visitor will visit? Well, back in January, I didn't have much content on my website. We did have a really large free course, a Java course that Viv's made, and a lot of people were visiting a lot of different pages because they were taking that course. Uh, as I started to add more tutorials, they were really just single page tutorials that started ranking and started getting more users. And so they didn't need to visit all these other pages. So that's why the pages per session started to dip quite a bit because they weren't visiting other pages essentially. Um, so you can see 2.8 down to 2.4 down to two. Um, and of course you want people to click around on your site. Um, the worst it got was to 1.95 in April. So I was like, okay, well, I don't want only, you know, just one person to visit, you know, two pages. We need to increase this somehow. Um, and so I did increase it slightly over here. Um, and the, what I basically did to try to remedy that is if you look at Corsetra.com here, um, I'm going to click on just a random tutorial. 
And that's where most of my traffic, by the way, is landing is, is at these tutorial pages. Uh, we can see the layout here. Um, basically what I did, uh, actually this wouldn't be a good idea. Um, let me show you, there we go, an angular one. Down here, just right here, we can see these different courses. I decided to add this section here. So when a person visits, they're going to see these three relevant courses. Uh, this is an Angular tutorial, so I show Angular courses on my website. This is what has increased the amount of people clicking um, from different pages. So of course, you know these are free and paid courses, so there's an advantage there in terms of uh, making extra money as well. Um, so coming back here, let's go down to Google traffic. So this is all the traffic that I'm getting to my website from Google from January 1st all the way to present day. You can see it's been a nice steady increase. So what I'm just trying to do is try to create anywhere between, you know, six to 10 tutorials per week or per month rather, um, and trying to get links to those sites so that it ranks high in Google. And we've gone all the way from around 165 per day at the beginning of the year to um, right here at this peak is 3,668. Um, all users, again, from January 1st to May 30th, we'll see that this as well pretty much aligns with this nice slope upwards. So we're at just uh, 4,126. So as you can see, most of my traffic is coming from Google. This is coming from other sources like my YouTube channel. As you can see, there's not very many. Um, also page views. Again, uh, the, the page views you can see didn't really increase much here within the first, I'd say four months. And again, that's that's because uh, down here, people were visiting a lot more pages, about 2.8 per day, and it stayed around 1.9. So there's not a huge increase. Um, but then we got a real big increase up here, which was really nice. But if you averaged out these three weeks right here, it probably comes around to 9,500 page views. And then finally over here at tutorials, uh, this is just for the month of May. You know, again, I also in April, I didn't really cover that, uh, but I released this course right here, Learn Angular 4 from scratch. Angular 4 had just released, so I knew it would be a keyword that's going to be easy to rank for, for because there's not obviously much competition because it's Angular 4 was new. So I was like, all right, I'm going to make a free course, and each one of the videos are, uh, that are a part of this course, I featured a written version, which would rank uh, in Google well. So. Uh, I'm get, that's also one of the things that's aligning to this stuff right here, these new Angular 4 keywords. Now you can also see that down here I have a, I'm trying to extend outside of Angular because most of my traffic, I would say 95% probably, are people that are looking for Angular content. So Angular obviously is just one part of the puzzle in terms of development. And so uh, right here is my my attempt to try to extend outside of that. So this is another free course. It's not done yet. Um, it's probably gonna be close to four hours. Um, React versus Angular versus Vue. So I'm gonna start branching outside of that, um, obviously to increase traffic even more so. Um, and yeah, so that's basically it. I, I understand like this growth right here, you know, just being a one man show, I'm not sure how long I will be able to, to sustain that. I will definitely, be able to keep it going uh, as long as I cover, you know, this this new stuff. But I can't just keep on covering Angular. Um, of course, I will do Angular content, you know, from time to time and whatever is relevant because Angular seems to be one of the most searched for, probably out of these three: React versus Angular versus Vue. Based on my research, Angular seems to be the most searched for slightly above react content so i'm going to be covering react content also Vue. i really like Vue based on you know this what i've learned in this course here um but yeah that is basically it i don't really discuss uh you know what i'm making from all this i make my money for, for probably like four different sources on my site so i'll just discuss real quick you know where, what i'm really making um so uh, these ads right here, this uh, leaderboard, this ad over here, I have an ad right here. This is all from Google AdSense. And so I make money this way, and that's been increasing very nicely. Um, I, again, I can't live off of it, that's for sure. Um, and then I also make money, of course, from 
the uh, subscription service that I have. So that's, um, you know, with these pro courses right here, I have about four pro courses. I, to access that, people are paying $9 monthly just to access these courses. So I make money that way as well. Um, I also make money from a YouTube channel ads. And again, one of the things that I try to set myself apart from other similar sites is the fact that pretty much every tutorial on my site has an associated video. So this is a YouTube video. It's free for people to watch. You can see I'm really trying to target the keywords that would be relevant, like Angular 4 SEO. That's a huge term. Um, and it basically could just it's just me talking, running through the process step by step that's outlined in this because some people prefer watching video. And uh, so, yeah, that's, uh, again, AdSense, my Corsetro Pro account subscription service, my YouTube ads, and then also uh, a lot of my paid and free uh, courses are also available to purchase from udemy.com. I'm also starting to add them on Skillshare. So uh, out of those four, the income, obviously, as I get more traffic, so too does the income increase. So by the end of the year, I'm really hoping to get it to a point where I can say, well, I don't really have to record courses anymore for my other networks. As some of you know, I record courses for Pluralsight. Um, I record courses for LinkedIn and lynda.com. Um, and yeah, so I mean, I, I still will probably record courses for them, but um, not indefinitely. So that brings me to the last section. You know, of course, if I want to keep expanding and if I want to keep on driving up, I you know, the, the website traffic right now, it's at 94,000 um, Alexa. Uh, I think that even at current traffic numbers, because Alexa is slow, slow to update, I'm probably close to around, I'd say 50,000 rank. And of course, if you're unfamiliar with the Alexa rank, it's just a ranking. You know, the lower you are, the more traffic you get. It just ranks you against uh, other websites in the world. Like number one is Facebook or YouTube or something like that. Um, but anyhow, if I want to keep on growing, I can't just be a one-man show. So I have to take the you know the profits that I'm making and start hiring out for other people to write uh, tutorials. And like again, my stick is making videos that parallel the written tutorials. So when I start, I think this will be as soon as next month, like in, in uh, June, which is tomorrow, I'm going to start uh, trying to actively seek out developers who can write tutorials and write them in such a way that I will be able to record parallel video tutorials with them. So yeah, if you're a developer who has a particular experience, um, particularly probably with React, Angular, or Vue, hit me up and I could set you up with a writer's account. Um, I already have that system developed, so it'll show your name, of course, on the tutorial. Like right now, if you show... Uh, by Gary Simon, so it'll show your name, and I, you will get paid per tutorial on some specific element that pertains to, you know, like I said, React, Vue, or Angular. All right, I'll see you guys in two more months to discuss what's happening with the uh, traffic. Hopefully it doesn't stagnant and uh, remain the same. Hopefully there's still growth. So I'll see you guys later, and also look out for probably tomorrow, the next day, I'm going to add to this course down here. Uh, right now, I just have the design aspect in Adobe XD done. I also have Vue.js that was finished. So React will be next, and at the very end, Angular. So React will be added, like I said, by tomorrow or the next day. All right, see you guys later.